Race two on Saturday, A Fleet. The pin is favored, but I like that we're staying more up in the middle here. Max is late. Preston did good there. Preston was a touch late, but he's right next to Harrison. That's okay, Max has got speed next to the national champ again. 8662 is gonna get pinched off here. So Max, if he pinches, he should be able to survive here. Okay, what are our goals for this race? We, uh, we've we got to, uh, I don't know, there's not a whole lot that we wanna do different. I liked it, they didn't believe me last time. Oh, good speed test here. Look at Preston punching out there. So Preston has a little more uh, speed than these guys right now. Max is starting to get to Anton right here. Good. Yeah, so Max is a high pointer. He, oh, Max has a boat to lure to him too, so Anton's gonna have to go. See this late roll, it's a light tack, so you see his late roll. Anton's very small, so he's able to do that really hard flat. If you're bigger, you gotta wait a touch longer, another second longer. Okay, nice tack, Max. Now the problem is, is that these guys look lifted, or she's pinching. Okay, Preston, not a bad idea. About the same position you were in uh, on Harrison at the start. Harrison's gained a little. Very few kids sail more than that guy right there. So this is good. Oh, you're doing great, brother. You're just, he's a little over trimmed. You're going a little faster. We'll see what happens. Oh, look at Anton survived here. The left seemed to be okay here. Race two, C1 and B fleet together. Taylor should trim and go high. The current's gonna sweep them into this thing. He should trim and go high. 10, trim and go high. Here he goes. We'll be able to look back on that. I don't know if he hit it or not. I think he missed it, actually. That was pretty amazing. So if you could have accelerated just two, three seconds earlier, you'd have been gold in there. But I like it because you have a lot more wind than these guys. Oh, there's Maddie right there. You guys are set up for this puff really well. We gotta learn how to do the ease trim acceleration. Taylor has a tighter traveler, so his boom's further in. If she could have just eased and trimmed and got moving forward, she'd have been a little better shape. Here goes Taylor. I'm telling you guys, it's the race for the left, it seems like to me. You just gotta do it at the right time. You can't sail a port tack header. You can't sail a header on either tack, but you've gotta try to step up to the left when it's a good time like she should get out of there she should be tacking and going oh, there you go just like last race Anton de Sils no bang on he moves plenty fast and his top of the sail is just spilling same with Harrison they really sail with a ton of twists so that's something that we're going to experiment with He needs, uh, Preston needs Vang looser, Outhaul looser, Cunningham looser. All three. It's good to have your upwind setting set because he's pretty fast, but he probably could be a little faster upwind, so, but definitely needs to power the sail up more. That one's more powerful. Max looks good. He should be looking upwind behind him and seeing if we can see anything. It looks like neither tack is lifted or maybe starboard tack is lifted. Yeah, I think starboard tack is slightly lifted, so I would be getting off the port. 
Okay, the current's going from our left to right. So I would be getting onto port tack just like Harrison is. If I was Preston, if I saw Harrison right there on port, I would be jiving immediately here. Port tax, yeah, you can see them. Look at the trees above Preston's mast. You're going to see the boats going from our left to right. See how his mast lined up with those trees now? So you need to jibe early into the current. Port tax better right now. Cool, that's a good view of it. You can see his mast no longer lined up with the trees. He's going left to right. Race two here, what happened is, is the left paid early, but as we saw the right paying, we needed to tack onto starboard and get in phase. We, we stayed on the headed port tack, so when we were lifted, we did great. As soon as we saw the right boats tacking, we should be trying to get as close to them as we can and still be kind of bow out or even with them and tack and sail even speed with them on starboard for a while. Wait for the wind to shift back left, and we could have come in left hard at the mark. This looks pretty good. This looks good. Looks like Harrison's first. Here's Shane. Here's Preston again, duking it out for top three. Again, maybe gonna get fourth. We're gonna see here. Preston's a little slow. He should press down and accelerate. Uh, I would tack right there and lay the pin. Okay, last race it was better to go to the boat. And, oh, I would have tacked sooner, dude. What am I thinking? Okay, you, you got to finish at an end. Yeah, that was a, not a smart move. We always finish at an end. One end to the other is always further downwind. But anyway, another fourth, dude. I'm happy. If you'd attack sooner, you beat him. Wow, coming in right next to each other. Both healing, just don't want to heal anymore. Once we get to a certain amount of heal, we start to depower the sail. All we're trying to do is dig the lured chine in a little bit. Nice, okay. Race three Saturday. Obviously everybody wants the boat, so Max should just squeeze slow. His, my goal for him is to accelerate earlier. He just has a habit of accelerating after the boat's around him. He doesn't see Harrison. But it's good because Paige is maybe going to take Harrison out. That's great because Max... Oh, they let that go. Okay. I thought there was a couple boats over. No problem. Preston's going to do fine. That was a great job, Preston. Port tack looks okay. Okay, Max, you got to stay moving. Look at that. The guy that's been doing really well on both sides of you, hanging with him. Now, if you can pinch off 10275 just a little, good. Now you got a foot off. Good job, dude. Good job. Now you're gonna get bad air from that little ski boat there. That a boy. Don't steer quite so much. Our goal for the next race is to smooth down the steering. That's just a little nervous rudder drag. Every time you turn the rudder, if it's not improving the telltale flow or the leeboard flow, then it's a brake. It's like you should have brake lights on. Not every rudder movement's a bad movement. Though. Good, Taylor's playing it safer this time. With this outgoing tide, it's dangerous. Oh, you should be going now. See, gotta read 103.26. He's ahead of you. Yeah, okay, you're a little late. Maddie decided to start up at that end and try to get herself to the left. She was also late. They're not the cutest. 
Okay, Taylor did it again though. He starts a little off the line, but his concentration is really good. Race two is just a fact of, we still haven't learned the wind shifts. We sailed a big header on Port Tack after that looked beautiful. We should have. Okay, accelerate, 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 accelerate. All these guys are gonna probably tack. Natty did a good job right in there. This is unfortunate here. You should let that guy tack and cross. You should let that guy tack and cross. But this is gonna work out okay. You're gonna do a close duck. And there's, there you go, close duck. Come on, Natty, keep going. Good, Taylor. Okay, so Taylor now, our goal was to trim the main a little looser on port tack because his traveler is so tight and it's not adjustable right now. So we're trying to keep our boom. I bet you if you look at race two and race three, you'll see your booms in exactly the same spot. Oh, there you go. Looks great in the puffs. Okay, now you gotta watch this, Taylor. As soon as these guys are tacking out of here on big lifts, you gotta go back to the left. So that's what you're doing. You're not big lift right now, but you're okay. Yeah, that's a big lift. Stay, stay, stay. Stay, 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 good. Okay, so there you are again, right in the middle. And you take lifts when you can get them. But if you think the boats to your right over here are getting headers, you've got to press down and don't pinch into the header. Now, it's, if those guys tack and they're on a big lift, you got to match their angle on starboard. See how you're getting headed now? you got to be ready to tack. Yeah, I can see his head on a swivel here. He's ready. And here's Preston winning the A fleet. Great job winning it easily. So we're going to stop here. There's Anton there with that loose vang again. I don't think that's good. I think it's too loose, but he's very light. He makes it work. If I sail with the vang that loose, I pull the boom in just a little to get the top batten more perpendicular to the wind a little once in a while. Okay, you look great. Now we talked last race about jiving early here. Remember? So I hope he decides to do it here. You've got the national champion and her, everybody's on port tack. So if those guys end up not jiving again and making the mark, I'm gonna be upset. There we go, nice, good. Now what you need to do now is go above the mark one degree. So you're going to the left of the buoy all the time because you're gonna crab to the right. So right now you're staying above the buoy and the light spots just by a little and straight at the mark in the puffs. Also what you do is you take a range. See that tree up above there? There's a little bush up above the buoy. You line that up and you try to hold, hold that steady. He's doing great. He's above the mark just a little. It's exactly what he should be doing because he's crabbing from left to right. B fleet, C1 fleet. Maddie's got herself back in the race. Here's Taylor having a better race. He might have gone too far to the right because Maddie's gonna make the mark and round. Looks like Maddie's gonna round third. That's okay, Taylor. We're getting it. Logan needs a ton of bang. Maddie's bang's perfect. He needs a ton of bang. A ton of bang. Maddie's good. She's moved into second in the fleet. Taylor's in third, fourth, fifth, six. Nice work. Great rounding, dude. Bang could go off a little. Great rounding. Oh my God, you rounded with all this pack and you're just gone. Oh, good job, boy. He listens. He wants the port tack. He wants to get inside. Yeah. Keep your air clear. 